is time for the video. Today I will be reviewing set 75345, the LEGO Star Wars Final Force Clone Troopers Battle Pack. This set comes with 119 pieces, came out this year in 2023, and cost $20. So here are the instructions with that weird white look still in effect. And here is the box. So let's first start and get into the set with the minifigures. Okay, well, for some reason, this camera does not want to make up its mind at which camera out of the three it wants to use. Uh, so you might see some uh, uh, differences within each figure and the positioning of the camera and how much of the stand they're on that you can see. But anyhow, first up, we have our Foul First Heavy Trooper. Get two of them in the set. And this guy's definitely pretty nice. Um, all but one of the figures uses the regular Foul First legs. Um, so these are the same legs as the Foul First Troopers from the Battle Pack, or the, well, it's, I guess it's, it's technically not a Battle Pack, but the original Foul First Clone Trooper set. And uh, this guy comes with the, uh, the visor here, and he definitely looks pretty good. The helmet has a different print on it, as you can see. It doesn't have the regular Foul First print. Uh, because he's a heavy and he does have this gun as well that's different which kind of signifies that he's a heavy and yes as you can see the camera is being a little annoyance but um it hopefully will not be too bad so uh yeah that's about it for this figure pretty basic but definitely gets the job done has different printing on the torso and uh, has the backpack on the back which i think looks really nice um so yeah, let's uh, move into the next figure. Next up here, we have the Sniper. This guy definitely looks very good and definitely different compared to the other ones in a lot of ways. Um, he also comes with the regular Foul First legs from the original set. He has a long rifle this time uh, because he is a Sniper. And um, the helmet is the regular Foul First helmet just with the holes. Um, the torso is slightly different in print to where there's those little yellow markings up here on the chest plate, um, and there's nothing different on the back. Uh, but he does have blue arms, probably because in universe the arms are a lot have a lot more blue paint on them um, compared to the regular Foul First Troopers. So he does have blue arms, which when I saw that it made me think of the original Foul First Troopers. Um, then I realized this is a new set and not an old one. But he does come with this new uh, the night vision goggles which look very good. I think LEGO did a really good job with these. Um, they look extremely accurate to where they have uh, the markings up on the top of like the little pieces of tech that are in them. Um, and yeah, they fold up and down just like uh, the other visors. And uh, yeah, I think they look really, really, really good. And I'm very glad they brought these into a set and have now brought them into uh, LEGO as a, as a new piece. And now people will be able to accurately make the 212 versus 501st battle um, in Star Wars Clone Wars because now people will have these visors and they don't have to like buy them off of Clone Army Customs or anything. So that's definitely very nice. Um, but yeah, that's it for this figure. So let's move on to the next one and the final one. Next up here we have the officer. And yes, I do realize that the last figure in universe is called the specialist, um, though I call him a sniper because it's really what he does anyhow this is the officer definitely a lot of differences with this guy um, just the helmet is more or less the same it's just the holes um, he does have a rangefinder on the top which moves like any old rangefinder does um, but I mean I don't really see why this figure in particular needs a rangefinder what the yeah it kind of came out of the hole so I tried to press it in a little bit but you know that happen so that's one thing with these range finders um, that they have not been able to fix in all the years of having them is uh, their tendency to come out slowly as you move them around but uh, this officer does come with a pistol and he has a blue belt which is the difference between him really and everybody else and their torsos um, and the blue belt does go to the back and there's some different like blue in there um, the legs are different because there's a printed waist cape on him which like everybody else says, I think they should do cloth waist capes and should never have gone to printing, but I don't see them going back to cloth unless it's like a, a bigger set. Um, I think battle packs and smaller sets, they will continue to do the printing, which I think is 
um, pretty dumb, honestly, and it takes away from the accuracy and the good look of the figure. But there is one thing I wanted to address, which I really like about this set, and hopefully they continue to do in the future of LEGO Star Wars. But they provided, as you see, he has a pistol, an extra pistol. And now this is not a mistake, because I bought two of these battle packs uh, when I found them, and both of them had extra pistols. So I hope that means in the future there will be an extra pistol in each set, because I definitely am in need of pistols. I have figures that need them and that don't have them. So it's very nice having a couple extras from this set. Um, so hopefully that's something they continue with in the future and is pretty nice. So just want to mention that. But yeah, that is all for the figures. So we will get into the build. Now onto the build here. Let's get the figures out of the way. It's kind of like a miniature of the AV7 uh, cannons. I think that's what they're called is 87. Um, but it's basically a miniature version of that. And I think it looks pretty good for a midi scale version. Obviously they can't do it like the most accurate thing ever because it's a smaller scale and I don't expect them to. Um, but it definitely gets the job done, especially for, you know, a younger kid who just wants some sort of cannon to be able to shoot at people. Um, it's definitely a really good one. And um, the looks overall are pretty good compared to um, like what a regular size one would look like. And kind of like the set they, that they had done with the Wolfpack Troopers, which are extremely expensive. Um, but besides that, the set is definitely very good. It has the basic features that you'd want on a cannon like this. The cannon moves up and down, um, so it doesn't have a ton of movement when it comes to up and down. That's uh, its limits there, but other than that, it definitely gets the job done good enough uh, to where it probably needs to. There's the string-loaded missile. Obviously, we know how those work. I don't really want to shoot it and lose it. Um, and then their legs also move in different directions, so they can move like this. These are on just regular hinges, um, and then these are on the uh, linked, or like the segmented hinges for the feet. But yeah, the only thing with um, these not being, like the, the, the joints connected to like the base, um, not being the segmented hinges, is the fact that like they can be out of, um, out of line, not being like equal distance from each other, um, because there's not those links to like do like two clicks and then that's for all legs so then they're at equal distances so I mean other than that that's the only real thing I would say you could replace it if you wanted to because there are pieces um, out there that you could uh, use to do that the reason they probably didn't is because of the piece right here and this is a one stub long one which they don't make any of the like the, the link pieces um, in one stud, one stud long. They only come in two stud long, so that's probably why they did that. But um, yeah, other than that, I think uh, the set is very good, and I think um, I think it gets the job done pretty well. So it does come with an extra uh, missile as well. But yeah, let's uh, let's move on to the final review. Well, that is going to be it for this set. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Like the video if you like the review. Comment down below your thoughts on the set, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. So the overall, like my overall thoughts on this set is definitely very, very good. Um, I really like this set. I think it's a great set when it comes to, you know, changing up your army a little bit and adding some different ranks and different units into your Foul First army. Um, it'd definitely be nice if they could, you know, make some different torso looks for uh, different clone legions just so we could have uh, similar things where we can, you know, make uh, heavy troopers or... Um, officers or specialists for other legions but um, I think the inclusion of this new piece is 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 perfect I think that is a fantastic addition and it you know it helps with it just helps with you know mock builders and it helps just people in the community in general because this is a piece that um, is used in actual Star Wars a frequent bit actually and so it's nice thing to have on clones and as pieces out in in the circulation of lego parts um, the build definitely gets its job done um, it doesn't have to be the most detailed thing ever um, but it definitely gets as much accomplished as it needs to and um yeah i think it i think this set is a very very good set so um that is that's going to be it for this review so thank you so very much for watching and i'll see you in another video